Okay, so in front of you, you will notice my Canadian silver. Uh, I'm going to start off with the biggest piece of silver I have that's Canadian, which would be this guy right here. This is a one ounce of 9999499 pure silver, well, almost pure, from Canada. And this here is worth $5 face value. It's from 2013. It's not in the greatest of shape, but it's good enough for what I want. So there's that. And then here in the back, I've got a loose silver dime. I'll bring that up so you can see it. That's, uh, well, let's see here, 1956, which would have Queen Elizabeth II on it, a young portrait of her, what we like to call a young head. So there's that, that was a metal detecting find, not found by me, but given to me by one of my good friends. Here I have a 1958 silver dime from Canada. See here. And that is, again is Queen Elizabeth's second young portrait, so he also has a young head. Here we have a 1967 Canadian silver mackerel. Now, if you watch Digging Canuck, link in the description, you will know that everybody calls it a, a, a whale. It is not a whale, it is actually a mackerel. So, and again, that is Queen Elizabeth II, but an older portrait. A more older portrait of the young lady herself. And then, I got another dime. This is a 1966 brilliant uncirculated silver dime. Very shiny, almost sort of like a, um, what the Americans call a proof. Oh, that shiny matte, not matte, but glossy kind of finish. Very shiny. I've got a 1966 Brilliant Uncirculated Quarter. Again, that nice color, kind of like, sort of like... When you look at a car after you polish it, it kind of looks like a, a polished car almost. And then last but not least for this Canadian silver is a half dollar, or also known as a 50 cent piece from 1960. And that has Queen Elizabeth II as her, her young portrait. So that's all I have for Canadian silver. In the next clip, you will see my non-silver Canadian coins. Okay, so here I have my non-precious metal Canadian coins. I'm going to start off with what you see here laid down on the placemat. So the first thing we have is not too special, but it is special enough. It's the 50th anniversary of the Canadian flag, Canada's flag. So it's a 25 cent piece, marks 50th anniversary of the Canadian flag. And then these next two finds are metal detecting finds. Uh, we'll start with the one I found first. This is a 1924 five cent pick piece. It's very old, and it's got King George V on it. Next, on the same weekend, I found a 1917 hard cent, which also has King George V in it, on it. 
I got a brand new 2019 Looney Canada Dollar. It doesn't have a loon on it, but it's uh, equ equality. So, if you are African American or of other descent, besides Caucasian or also as white, then you are supposed to be as equal as we are. So, I believe very strongly in that stuff. That we are all equal, no matter what we look like. And then, here's a 50 cent piece from 2002. With the queen on it. No, that's Princess Diana, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's Princess Diana. And then next, I have D-Day Toonies. This one is the non-colorized version. And this one over here is the colorized version. So those are always neat. And here, I have three one dollar nickel dollars so that's those are pretty cool that one's from Manitoba this one is Jacques Cartier I think that's how it's pronounced for 1984 for Quebec and then 1982 Confederation And lastly, we've got, sorry about that, my phone went dead. Um, here I've got another large scent. This one here is from 1910. It's hard to see. Uh, it doesn't help. But it is 1910, which means it has, not King George, but King Hard to see here. Edwards the Seventh, King Edward the Seventh. So that's an oldie. And then last but not least, we have the Armistice, which is from 2018, and this is the colorized version. I think it only comes in colorized anyway, but it's got that beautiful picture of the poppy on it. So that's it for that. Uh, next, I'm going to be showing you a bunch of nickels I have from coin roll hunting. So here you can see I've got a bunch of nickels. There are 16 nickels that are loose, all ranging from King George VI right up to Queen Elizabeth II young head portrait. Now, back at the back, you can see that I've got a, a nickel here that I had actually purchased from 1952. And it's for King George the Sixth, and it's in really, really nice shape. And to be honest, I only paid thirty-five cents for it. It's a nice nickel. Anyway, I'm not going to bore you guys by showing you all the nickels' dates and showing you them one by one. So let's get on to my England coins. And this is my England coins. Yes, that's all I have is two. But I'll start with the non-precious metal. This one here is a one new penny. So it's basically one cent or one pence in England. And that is from... Uh, 1975, and then over here, this is actually silver, this is a 1931 six pence, or six P, as some people call them, uh, it's from 1931, 
with a portrait of King George the Fifth. George the Fifth. Like so. So that's my entire collection. I've hoped you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and comment only if you feel inclined to. And make sure to check out the description for great channels. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.